Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we are back in Farming Simulator 22 and we are in the new premium DLC. Uh, this is the new map that we've actually got access to, which is awesome. Um, and we actually get access to a few new, uh, I was going to say vegetables, they are vegetables I suppose. Uh, carrots, parsnips and red beets. Um, I believe this is our field right here though and I guess this is just wheat. Um, yeah, join me as we start a series on this map. Let's get to it. Okay, so we start out with this right here. This is the top liner. This is essentially the harvester you always get anyway. Uh, and we're going to hire a guy to hopefully harvest this field. I'm assuming they will do that correctly. I don't know whether that's a bad thing to assume. No, it is actually doing it correctly. Nice. Uh, we need to actually figure out which fields are ours. Because I don't actually know. Okay, so it turns out this field up here is ours, and that field over there is ours. That is it. Um, and for some reason, we've got that combine going that way. There's going to be a lot of turning around if that is the case. So I think we'll actually get him going lengthways instead. That makes a lot more sense anyway. Um, we've also got this tractor right here. A Fiat. Okay, we've got this as our Tibber trailer. We have whatever's going on back here. So what is this thing? We got a thing. <laughs> uh, this is presumably for either carrots or beets or something like that. In fact, we can actually have a little look in the shop and see what things are. That makes sense. Um, I'm not usually, I don't normally play, um, or I'm not into farming that much. Okay, so it was a disc arrow. Makes sense. Uh, so, vegetable technology, what is this? This is for lifting red beets, parsnips, and carrots. Okay, this one is for planting. Uh, red beets, carrots, and parsnips. I actually really want to do carrots, so I think we'll get a tractor onto this guy and we'll get it planting some carrot seeds, I guess. Sure. Okay, so what tractors do we actually have then? I know we've got this. Uh, we do have this guy. So this one's actually already ready to plant, like, wheat. We aren't gonna do that. Also, this tractor is... Is this tractor new? I've not seen this before. Um, it, it's weird. <laughs> it's a very strange looking tractor. It's also very slow and feels very heavy. Uh, but we'll actually go ahead and drop our cedar off down here. We do have chickens. So we need to feed the chickens. Uh, so let's move the cedar out of the way of those. Um, can we get in this barn? Let's see. Might be able to get in here and actually just like... Yeah. I mean, it's not very big. But we could totally drop this off in there. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why you'd do that, but we we won't need it for a while anyway, so. Let's go ahead and lower it down. There we go, and then we can drive it in. Uh, presumably... Oh, we don't even fit. I was going to say, presumably we fit, but we don't. We don't actually fit with this tractor. I don't even know if we fit... No, that tractor's higher than this one. We can't really put anything in here, which is so, so weird. Alright, lift that up. Reverse backwards. I'm spending so much time doing this, there's no point. Alright, there we go, drop that off. Cool. So that's going to be trapped in there forever. Because <laughs> we want to be doing the seeds from this thing, uh, instead of anything else. So let's go ahead and grab this. We have 16 liters of seeds in here, and I do want to be doing carrots. So let's do that. 16 liters really doesn't seem like an awful lot. Uh, so I don't know how far this is going to go in this field. But we are going to hire a guy to do it, because I want to test out some other things as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy onto this field right here. There we go. Uh, we will actually try it a little bit ourselves. So if we drop this down... Do I have to turn it on? Turn on cedar. Here we go. Oh, and it leaves lines in the ground like that. That's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and hire a guy. Hey, look at that. So it's planting carrots, presumably, in each one of these lines. Interesting. Okay, and we got a little bit right there. Whoops. Okay, so this guy has been doing a pretty decent job. However, it feels like he's going diagonally, which he sort of is. Um, it's a very strange way of doing it. So we're actually going to go and start at this end now. Uh, and we're going to get this guy going up and down this field this direction. Because it just makes more sense. It makes a lot more sense. Uh oh, are we going to have a collision? I think we might, <laughs> we might end up having some issues over here. What are you doing? Oh, no. Wait, actually, how much is this guy even... Oh. Please say he can he can get around here. Yeah, it, it does seem that he's going to do his job still, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I didn't see that as an issue that was going to occur. 
it was definitely gonna occur. Anyway, uh, this guy doing his job. Excellent. It's gonna take a while to plant this field, but it will be planted soon. Alright, so I'm just checking out the fields next to us. Uh, it's really strange because they are just like really long lines. Um, in fact, they're really long lines like everywhere. It's really strange. Look at these fields right here from 20, oh, from 19 to 27. They're all very just long straight lines. It's kind of weird. There's also a football pitch down there. I might have a little bit of a drive around. Maybe. Um, we need to figure out where the shop is and stuff like that uh, as well, obviously. Uh, but what I'm thinking we do is we buy this land here. Can I afford it? Value is only 24 grand. I'm buying it. Uh, essentially what this field is, is carrots. I don't know how close to being fully complete they are. But, um, let's have a little look. So, in fact, let's go to this. No, not that. Where is it? Oh, it's not even on here. Because I've turned seasonal growth off, it's not there. Um, but these should be done very soon. Maybe even next month. Okay, so I was just looking around and I've noticed we've got two tipper trailers. Uh, and that feels very strange to have. So we're going to drive around here and we're going to take this tipper trailer. Because I hate reversing these ones. Uh, we're going to take this and we're going to take it away. We're actually going to try and sell it. Um, I was assuming that this would work. But clearly, we can't attach whatever this vehicle is. I don't know what it is. Uh, onto... Onto there. We can't do it. I don't think we've got any trailers for this thing to pull, actually. Yeah, I don't think it would actually pull any of this stuff. Weird. Okay, so I guess we're going to use this tractor then instead of that vehicle. And uh, I'm assuming this will go fine, but I, I don't know. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this guy. I need to figure out where the shop is. I, I just don't know where it is. So we're going to have to find that. But uh, I'm assuming it'll be fine. So... Uh, let's just have a little drive around, and I guess we will find it. Let's go. Okay, so, is this actually the shop right here? Alright, where's the bit where we would sell this? I think this might actually legit be the shop, straight away. <laughs> it totally is! It totally is! It's just across the road! That's awesome! I've never had a map like that, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and sell this guy. There we go. We got 12k from that. And we'll take this back to the farm. That's so weird. It's just over the road. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, a bit weird. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go. Yeah, nice. Cool. So we'll get this back. Um, I believe that thing right there is a weeder. Although I could be wrong. Is that for weeding? I'm not sure. Um, but we will attach this back onto this trailer, because I'm assuming the Combine will be full soon. So yeah, we'll get this ready to go for the Combine. Uh, and that should be good. Yeah. Alright, it looks like our Combine is slowing down. In fact, he has stopped. Unfortunately, he stopped in the, the worst place. So we're just going to go ahead and drive this into the field, leave that there. We're going to have to fire the guy that's working in this, unfortunately. Uh, and we'll just reverse it over to the trailer, I'm sure that's fine. There's no reason not to, so we'll just go ahead and do this. If we need a bigger trailer in the future as well, uh, I think what we'll end up doing is just... Um, making the sides taller. Because I think you can do that. You can upgrade this trailer to be a little bit higher. Uh, and I think that's exactly exactly what we'll do. Uh, but anyway, that's taking some time to unload. Seems like it's fine to do that. This guy is getting on with this field, but it is taking a long time to do so. So what I want to do is go into the shop, and I kind of want to figure out... Uh, so if we go to carrots, is there a bigger... Is there a bigger planter? In fact, actually, it's probably best we go in here. So vegetable technology, there we go. This is the current planter that we are using. This one is... Uh, six meters, so that's actually a lot bigger. It's twice the uh, size in storage as well. So is that the only planters we have? Because these aren't planters, these are harvesters. So that's odd. The biggest planter we actually... Oh, unless this is a planter. Uh, create ridges into which you can plant your vegetables. Um, oh. Should we have done that before we did this? I'm not sure. We didn't get given one of these. So I guess not, but like, maybe? 
I'm not sure. Alright, well anyway, let's go ahead and get this guy back over here and get him continuing on these fields. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'm going to use the, uh, the straws. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and stop that from happening. Uh, with the wheat that we got from this, we're going to give it to the chickens. Because we might as well feed those. There is only like 10 of them though. Or maybe 11. There's only 11 chickens. So, um... They're, they're, I don't know. Uh, they're probably not worth having, but like, that's fine. So let's go ahead and see where we dump this off. I think we just dump them off here. There we go, we can unload it for the chickens. Oh, wait. Oh, because I got out. Yeah, I'm so used to the engine staying on when I get out of vehicles that that just didn't make sense to me. Is that it? Are they full now? How much does this hold? 750 liters. Yikes. And yeah, there is only 11 of them. <laughs> wow. Alright, so let's go ahead and dump this off straight away into our silo. We might as well use our silo since we've got it. Uh, I might actually sell this. I don't mind driving the harvester everywhere with the... Uh... Oh, have I done it again? I've done it again. There you go. Uh, I don't mind driving the harvester everywhere normally. Also, I don't know whether we're going to be... I don't know whether we're going to actually be using the harvester very much. I want to just be planting the new veg. So I think... We will fully specialize in that stuff. Get rid of the harvester and the wheat and stuff like that. And we'll go fully into, like, red beets, carrots, and parsnips. I think that makes sense to do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and grab this header trailer. And we'll actually go sell it. Once we've done that, I think we'll actually sell the combine as well. Get that field planted with the right stuff that we want. And, um, yeah, I feel like that just makes the most sense. So... We'll go fully into the production of beets and carrots and parsnips, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we should also figure out what we can turn each of those things into, because there must be some sort of production chain to them, I guess. So let's go ahead and drop that off right there. There we go. And we will sell this. Excellent. You don't get very much money from it. It's like 900. That's fine. And we'll drive back home. But yeah, we need to... Actually, let's figure that out next. So if we go into construction... I'm assuming there will be productions for each of these new things. So, premium expansion. Premium. Okay. Uh, so, this one right here is the bakery, uh, which is normal. That's fine. This one is the dairy. Again, that is normal. This one is a potato processing plant. Is that some... Is that new? You can actually make crisps. Potato chips. Uh, that's interesting. I... I think that is new. Uh, the next thing is a uh, preserved food factory. So that's something for the new the new uh, DLC. You can turn carrots, red beet, and parsnips into, I guess, like canned goods, essentially. Uh, that's 110,000. That's kind of expensive, but might be a good idea. Uh, there's a soup factory, so you can turn them all into soups. Interesting. Um, and then we've got a spinnery, which is new as well. But, um... I'm thinking we go for a soup factory. How big is this? Oh, it looks kind of ugly. Uh, what does this look like? I mean, that also looks kind of ugly. Uh, I think we do go for one of them. Because we're going to go full into the carrots, potatoes, parsnips. Oh, actually, maybe not potatoes. But maybe. I don't know. Ah! Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But we'll sell the harvester straight away. Uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so, uh, what I'm actually looking for now is these, like, uh, I think they call golden apples, uh, in this one. So, essentially, there are usually things to find, and I do believe you get money for it. I could be wrong, but I think you get money for it. So, that's what I'm trying to find right now, see if there's any on the farm. Uh, I feel like maybe there'll be one in the chicken coop, so I'm gonna go in there and check. Uh, oh, turns out you can't actually go in there. Interesting. Um, but yeah, it should be hidden somewhere around. I've just checked around the house. Maybe it'll be in here, because this is a useless building. <laughs> this is a really useless building. Uh, but I don't see any in here either. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know where it would be, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe there isn't any on the farm. That could be the case. Okay, a worker has completed their task. Luckily, it is actually the combine, which is good. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Pipe out. There we go. We're going to drive over to the trailer. Uh, we're going to dump everything out of it, of course. Uh, because we still need to feed the chickens. But this is enough food to feed the chickens for a long time. So we'll just keep the trailer and make sure that's fine. Um, and 
We'll keep the silo for now too. However, I am thinking we won't be able to use the silo for carrots and things like that. Because it's like, silos are usually for grains, I guess. Uh, but actually, we should totally check that out and see. So, uh, let's go into construction. Yes, silos. Yes. Uh, I don't know which one we have. Um, and it doesn't say what you can store in it. That's annoying. I don't even know where you see where you store, like, what things you store in them. Uh, it doesn't overly matter anyway. So let's go ahead and close this down, and we'll drive to the shop, and we are going to sell this straight away. It seems like a really weird thing to do, but yes. Um, we're fully specializing, and this is the way to do it. Okie dokie, here we go. So let's run over to here and sell this straight away. Uh, oh, actually, no, let's repaint it first and repair it. You get more money that way, uh, in case you are new to this game, or you didn't know that. You usually get more money if you repaint and repair before you sell. So we're going to do that. We are now up to 219,000. Excellent. And I have been looking for those apples, and I haven't seen any. So, um, yeah, there doesn't appear to be any at the shop either. Interesting. Okay, so what makes sense to actually do now is to get this tractor uh, and unload this, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. For some reason, it's not unloading. Oh. Oh, weird. That was really weird. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and unload this. We'll then get the disc harrow, I guess, and start working on that field, get it all ready for sewing. And I might buy one of those machines maybe, that allows us to um, make the the ditches. The trenches? I don't know. Sure. Uh, how far across are you? Oh, he's getting there. He is getting there. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and jump back into this tractor. We'll get the disc arrow and I don't know, we'll see what it does. <laughs> I guess. Oh, and we do only have two tractors. And I've got nothing that will pick up the straw here, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, I guess like cultivate over it. I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, yeah, let's go around on the roads. That's okay. Here we go. And uh, I guess just send it? I suppose. Alright, let's go ahead and lower it down. There we go. Very nice. And go. Okay, excellent. Yeah, it's totally gonna work. Very nice. Okay. I would do to do that because I'm gonna run over to that building and see if there's any apples there. This seems really dumb. Aha, there we go. We actually managed to find one. So if I... I don't know what you actually do with these. How do, how do I even... How do I pick that up? Oh, collect is R. There we go. We get 5k for that. Nice. So there are apparently 50 of them. I've only found one. Yikes. Okay, right. Well, I mean, it wasn't really hidden. So maybe the rest aren't hidden? But, yeah. One in this entire place seems ridiculous. But I don't know. Maybe that's normal? I don't know. Okay, so I wanted to see what creating ridges actually did. Uh, and what it does is makes the fields look more realistic, which is fair, because at the minute ours is flat. Uh, and then the other thing it does is adds a fertilizer stage. So buying one of those is actually a good idea. Uh, so we might actually do that. Um, but I'm ready. We do need to process them too. So we have the money for a processing facility already. Um, so I think we're just going to buy one. <laughs> I mean, we could. Anyway, so let's go to production. We'll go all the way through, and I think I want to make soups. I do think I want to be make a soup factory, which seems like a really weird uh, thing to do. But a soup factory is, is what I want. It says collides with another object. What object, though? Is this colliding with the house or something? I'm not sure. Um, I kind of want it to go there. But I feel like that's a really strange place for it to go. It's really big. Like, this building is huge. And it's, it feels weird to actually buy one. But I'm thinking we do actually put it, like, there. Is that going to cut out the ground? Hopefully it does. Right, let's go ahead and press V or whatever. Oh, no! It hasn't done the ground. Uh, okay. That's not good. That's really bad. Uh, okay, so level How do I make make it level to this so if we make it really big uh, Sure 
Why is it not... Why is it not doing that bit? It's not lowering it down. Hang on. Uh... It's not doing anything to that. I'm just spending money, it's not doing anything to it. Oh no, this sucks! Mm, no, this is really bad! Okay, uh... Whoops. Alright, so I wondered what this one was. This is triple soup. So if you get 100 carrots, 100 parsnips, 100 red beets, you can make triple soup. Which I guess is a lot more expensive than any of the other soups. Uh, and that is something that we should totally check out, actually. So if we scroll down to wherever the soups are, we have carrot soup. Okay, actually, we could do it this way. 3,000. Wait, you can only sell it... Oh, no, this is... This is fine. Seasons is off. So it's the same all the way, all the year round. That's okay. So 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,500. Okay. Sure. And then this one's 3,600. I, I mean, sure. Um, but do you use less of it? No, you don't. Okay. I don't know. Is it worth doing? Not sure. This is really annoying that this has happened. Uh, and there's not much I can do about it. So we're just going to have to keep it like this until we get more money, I suppose. Alright guys, luckily it is the last run that this guy actually has to do of this field, so this one will be planted uh, very soon, that's good. Uh, that field over there is obviously ready to harvest probably next month. So what we'll do is as soon as this guy is ready, like actually finished on this field, we're gonna go to sleep. And then we'll see, we are gonna need two tractors for this actually, aren't we? You, like, to actually harvest, you need two tractors, because one needs to pull the trailer, and the other needs to pull the harvesting thing. Bit of an odd thing, that. Don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, and also, I feel like it's gonna take ages, because it's only gonna pick up one row at a time. That is ridiculous. But yes, that is what's gonna happen. So, let's drive this back home. We'll go ahead and drop off the, uh, cedar. It really hasn't used very much of the, uh, capacity there. At all. It's in a whole field and it's used 1%. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll follow this track down here. Our farm is obviously just there. This building has annoyed the life out of me. It's very annoying. Uh, but as soon as we get a little bit more money, we will fix that. Maybe. Anyway, uh, let's drop this off and we will go to sleep. There we go. Nice. Because I at least want to do a little bit of harvesting today. Here we go. Sleep until 9. Let's go. Oh no, it still says they're growing, they're not actually ready yet. Also, our other field, this one over here, is growing now, which looks awesome. Uh, but obviously it looks a little bit strange without the dips in here, so we will actually buy one of those machines as well, uh, very soon. But what I'm gonna do, which might be a bit weird, is I'm actually gonna go to sleep again. Uh, and essentially, I just wanna harvest some, some carrots. That's what I wanna do. So, um, yeah. We're gonna have to get the big tractor off the field. Uh, and get the trailer back on it, and then we can uh, we can just start picking up some carrots. I don't know. This is a two-man job. It's gonna be weird. All right, let's go see. So it's growing a little bit more. That's awesome. Let's have a little look at this field. Hopefully, it's ready. Ready to harvest. Nice. All right, this guy is actually almost done. So uh, this one will be for pulling the machine. Sure, we'll go with that. Also, I should totally sell that cedar in there. We should get rid of it. Uh, you don't pull it from here, you actually pull it from back there. So you definitely, you, you need a tractor that is actually small enough uh, to fit. Otherwise, you'll have some issues. So there we go. Oh, awesome. I wonder if this is specialized per tractor then. I wonder if some tractors can't use this. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to drive this over to the field. We're going to let that guy finish doing that, and then we'll do some harvesting. Okay, this tractor is ready to go, and um, it will work, hopefully. Let's go ahead and unfold this thing. There we go. So we need a trailer to drive next to us. The thing that I am going to struggle with here is we're going to have to drive on the crops. Although maybe that doesn't matter because it's carrots. It's different to, like, wheat because obviously the, the crop is at the top of the plant. But because it's carrots and they're under the ground, this is going to dig them up anyway. So maybe we can drive on it. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the last line for this guy. We'll then get the trailer. And we'll head over there and see what we can do. Okay, there might be a pole in front of me. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, get the trailer now. So, uh, this field is now ready to actually sow. However, 
Uh, I do want to do it in the, um... Oh, whoops. Uh, I do want to do it in the ditches, in the trenches. What do you even call that? Let me know. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and grab this. We'll then have to hire a guy to do the harvesting whilst we do the trailer ring, I guess. Um, this is going to be a slow process, isn't it? It's going to be very slow. Okay, so I, I genuinely don't know how this is going to go. Let's go ahead and get ourselves somewhat on the path here. There we go. We'll reverse up to where we need to be, which I guess is right underneath this guy. I'm going to go quite far back because he's going to get a bit of a head start on me. Uh, we're going to jump inside this one and hire a guy. There we go. Oh. Let's go. So it's picked up some carrots already. And they are coming along the conveyor. And we are already picking them up. Excellent. This is cool. So I kind of want to match his speed, which is about five miles an hour. So if we press two. No, is it one? If we press one, we can drop it down to like four or five. And then we can put our cruise control on and match his speed. Look at that. That is cool. We're doing it. We're harvesting carrots. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this is going to take forever, though. It is. It's going to take so long. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting this many carrots for one tiny little row. We've got 3,000 liters of carrots from one row. That is, that is a lot of carrots. That is a lot of soup. Uh, so, I do want to see if we can actually put this in the soup factory and make some soup. So, I think what we'll do is, while this guy is turning around, we'll go ahead and drop this off and get some soup made. Let's go. So, oh, we lost some carrots there. We lost a lot of carrots on the... F oh, wow, look. It's dumping loads. I don't know whether that's visual or whether there was actually loads of carrots still coming for us, but... Yikes. Alright, cool. Let's go around here. Did I destroy those? I did. I accidentally destroyed those. And this is in the air. I don't know if this is even going to work. It doesn't seem like it's going to even work. Oh, no! No, that sucks so bad. Alright, I'm going to have to destroy this building. And replace it. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, landscaping, yes. Level, yes. Massive... Uh, yes, there we go. Level to this. There we go. We spent quite a lot of money there, but that's fine. Production. Scroll to the end. Soup factory. Uh, overlaps another object. Where, though? What object is it overlapping? Uh, it doesn't matter if some of it's in the ground. That should do fine. So press V and go. Okay, so now we should be able, maybe, to drive on here. And unload into it. There we go. Oh, did the same thing I keep doing. There we go. Nice. Wait, actually, that is the slowest way of unloading this trailer I've ever seen. I don't know why I did that. Okay, since the only thing we're actually growing right now is carrots, let's go ahead and... Uh, activate that. There you go. So we've got 3,500 liters of carrots in there. And that's what we are going to make. Carrot soup. Nice. Okay, so I thought this guy was turning around. Uh, it seems like he's just stopped there. So I think I actually took off a little bit too soon. Also, our tractor's a little bit big for this, so you do actually have to go a different route. All right, what are you doing? Ah, uh, I can't work out what... Okay, so it wouldn't turn around until I was here, but it didn't actually have any left. No idea. This is going to be the test point right now. So we're going to drive in this field. We're going to drive on the carrots. Um, and we can. Alright, we're allowed to. That's lucky, isn't it? Because otherwise we would have lost loads of carrots there. But it is literally one row at a time. So we're going to spend ages in this field. Um, but that's fine. So the next thing that I wanted to check was if there are vehicles uh, just for this. So vegetable technology, there we go. There's one of these, 637,000. That is to harvest red beets, parsnips, and carrots. It's 600K. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But I suppose as soon as we get to that amount of money, that's no longer a lot of money. 
because that will help us so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really pleased with the way this is going. I really like the idea of farming carrots. I think it's actually really cool. Um, so I'm really happy I do have this expansion. Um, so yeah, nice. Anyway, um, we've done a little bit of harvesting now, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.